What's up? I'm Ashley Bornanson with the Red Carpet Report. We're here at Fox Studios for the Hallmark Hall of Fame world premiere of Julia Stiles' new film, The Makeover. Yeah. Hello, Ashley with the Red Carpet Report. How are you doing today? I'm very nice. Awesome. So this is exciting. You have been doing New Girl yeah. with the beautiful Zoe Deschanel, and beautiful. now you got to work with beautiful Julia Stiles. Tell me about it. It's tough. Someone's got to do a tough job. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> Seems tough. Yeah. Uh, no, it's wonderful. It's been so fun. It's been just, it was such a good year. I had a baby, and now I get to work with beautiful actresses. It was wonderful. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah. What's your baby's name? <laughs> Cecilia. Cecilia, another beautiful girl in the world. Yeah, Aww. seven months old. Oh, how exciting. So tell me more about the makeover. I feel like you kind of had to play two roles because you had to play the beer vendor, but then mm -hmm. the beer vendor had to become a budding mayor. What did yeah. you like better? Um, I liked the beer. I liked getting a little dirty, but, you know, um, it was cool because um, as you go along, there were sort of different levels. You could, the beer vendor always stays in there, you know, and that was a discussion we had at the beginning of the movie, like how much does he lose the beer vendor? And he doesn't really. He just kind of... Yeah. Gets a haircut and shaves. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You look beautiful, Mom. I had a makeover. You sure did. Wow. That's lovely. Beautiful cast. That's what they see in Hollywood, right? <laughs> So, so David, you had to put on a really thick accent. I saw I a clip, you were like, the ballpark and the mall. And yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, so Boston. Tell me about it. How did you come up with that accent? I, uh, I just watched, you know, you know, you watch some Goodwill Hunting sometimes, but I also went to some bars and just would listen to some of the locals talk. Okay. And then um, I just tried to basically imagine what SNL would do for a really thick Boston accent and dial it back like 25%. And that was it. <laughs> Yeah. I love that. Did you have you gotten feedback from people from Boston? Uh, some of the Teamsters fully approved of my accent, which was a huge vote of confidence. And I called in to 98.5 the Sports Hub, which is the local radio station, in accent, in character, and asked just to the test it out. And they bought it. They bought it hook, line, and sinker. That's awesome. Yeah. So, so tell me, um, what was your favorite scene in the movie? Uh, my favorite scene was, um, let's see here. That's a good question. I gotta remember. I gotta think about this. Um, I like the scenes with I like the scenes with all the guys at the at the uh, you know the beer um, the brewery you know all those um, and I like the bowling scene. I thought it was very sweet. Very cute yeah. scene. I like that one. That's so fun. <laughs> Have you ever gotten a makeover? Or if not. I want you to answer, what would you like to be made over into? Well, I think they, that old saying, like, every rock star wants to be an actor and every actor wants to be a rock star. Yeah. I wouldn't mind being made over into just, like, a total punk rocker. Really? Yeah. Punk Eye rock? makeup, yeah. You should do it. You should go to, like, your next premiere like that. <laughs> well, David, so nice talking to you. Nice Congrats. To Thank you so much. No problem. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Report. For more interviews, like and subscribe.